Hey everyone, I'm Angela and welcome to Silver Linings. In today's video, we are going to see seven gray wigs from the Magnificent Seven. Straight ahead on Silver Linings. And if you're new here, I want to welcome you. On this channel, I talk about silver, gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair. I'm so glad to have you with me today. Well, here we go with the seven wigs. We have Katie by Godiva Secret Wigs in two gray colors. Amazon's Gray Ombre. This is a budget-friendly, gorgeous silver gray brought to us by Coco. Sensational by Tony Bratton. An affordable wig brought to us by Taz. Susie by Envy in light gray. Toronto by Beltress in color chrome. A bob heat friendly with a gorgeous lace front feathered bob by tress allure and sam by envy all of these wigs will be in the magnificent seven playlist for you below they will be added to last week's play playlist which will now give you 14 wigs to just scroll through and play through and click on to your heart's desires let's get started so as usual, I'll share my screen with you, and our first selection is Katie. Katie by Godiva Secret Wigs, and Rochelle and Danielle are going to show you two different colors. Click play for you. Gray colors. So I am going to be putting on Sandy Silver, which is a brownish gray. And Rochelle's going to be putting on Silverstone, which has a ton of different gorgeous gray colors blended together. Okay, so now did you catch uh, what she said, that there are two different grays. We have the sandy gray, which is right here, and the silver gray, which is on Mom. <laughs> and they both, so the, the, uh, the sandy gray is going to be for those of you who want more brown in your gray wigs, and the silver stone is going to be for those of you who want more white. Just click a little bit more so you can see. Our beloved. Look, beloved. nothing. I'm doing <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I love that. Uh, she just put it right on her head and right out of the box. I'm sure she gave it a great shake and no muss, no fuss. You throw it on and you're right out the door. I love that. Yeah. I, for me, seriously, it's two minutes and then I'll put little bobby pins or wear our wig grip band. We have many ways to secure our wigs and we have videos on how to do that. But yes. It's so easy. So I Love that little wig. And uh, I want to stop for a moment here and just mention uh, coming right up after after this uh, slide, you're going to see Coco. Now, as I said in last week's video, Coco is a Godiva Secret uh, consultant. So if you're at this point comfortable with Godiva Secret wig and you just want to throw in an order, I'm going to link uh, Coco's uh, URL for you below in the description box. Feel free to reach out to her. Um, we're becoming fast friends on YouTube, and she's just a, a sweet, sweetheart and a wonderful reviewer of Godiva wigs, and she sells them. Okay, so moving along. So next up, as I just mentioned, is Coco, and Coco went Hello. out to Amazon.com, and she found this particular beauty, and... Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but it's very, very, very budget-friendly. I'm telling you, Coco looks good in every single wig I've ever seen on her. She's just got one of those faces with the great cheekbones and kind of the chiseled jaw there. Um, but look at how this wig comes out of the box. Let me raise the volume for you. I remember is Phyllis Diller. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. You know... She is almost looking okay. If you really like big hair, you can achieve that with this lady. All right. So I'm going to start by taking my fingers and raking some of the, the hair fibers close. This wig reminds me a little bit of Sparkle. You might remember Sparkle. I reviewed her a while back. I will, uh, when I edit, I will insert a, a short video showing you Sparkle just to jog your memory. But... Um, She's cut very much the same way with a lot of layers. To my face and covering my natural hairline, the bangs are just about perfect length for me. I'm going to go ahead and kind of wisp them up a little. 
And of course, the top, it looks like there's enough permatease everywhere. Let's take a look. Permatease. There is a lot of permatease in this That's going to give you height and volume. So if you like permatease, this would be your girl. And... Permatease. When I first started wearing wigs, I did not like permatease. And I think that that's true for many, many wig wearers. Uh, you tend to feel like, oh, no, the whole world knows I've got a wig on. But after a while, you get to know how to work with it. And, and I, I just think this, for the, for the money, is a really, really nice wig. Let's go, move on. I'm gonna, she's, I'm gonna fast forward into this video so you can see how she smooths all that down and it, and it becomes a totally different looking wig. So you could part her anywhere on the top. It's easier to tame. It can also That's be water. used to piece. She just sprayed water into the bang area. Make your um, hair a little piecier around the face. We could even wet. Or you could also use some hair wax designed for wigs there to piece out those sections of the hair. The sides and accentuate some of these razor cut edges around the face. And then of course, we can always sculpt them around our cheekbones nice, so that Coco. they bring attention to our eye area really nice. and our cheeks and make it look like we have really pronounced cheeks a little. Well, you do, Coco. Let's face it. You've got those beautiful cheekbones. And I love how Coco does her eye liner she kind of brings it up without it looking it's age appropriate i hope i can say that coco <laughs> a little bit more so anyway this is a very cute little bixie isn't she now she calls it a bixie and i'm gonna have to figure out what that means i think maybe it's a combination of a bob and a pixie. Coco, if you see this, would you tell me what that means? But I think that's probably what you mean, but I could be wrong. But I could be wrong. Now, I don't know if she comes in any other colors or not. She does. I just was in the market for something... Something short and kind of a Bixie look. Bixie. And I... Okay, so hold on a minute. I'm going to go out to Amazon and see if she comes in a different color. Why, yes, she does. She comes in the gray, white ombre. She comes in silver white. She comes in this brown color. And what's this? Silver gray ombre. See how I, when I hover over here and I just stop the, the mouse, it shows the color. And then finally, she also comes in the silver white mix. And the one that Coco has on is the gray white ombre. I may pick up this wig. This is only $22.99 and uh, review it alongside uh, Sparkle. Okay, let's move on. I thought at this juncture I would just show you Sparkle. Um, she's by Raquel Welch in Iced Granita. I love this wig. And uh, as I said, the one that Coco was just showing reminds me very much of Sparkle. I will put a side-by-side -side, uh, screenshot for you on both of these. Let's just take a quick peek at Sparkle by Raquel Welch. In my opinion, this was a real find from the clearance section over at Wig Studio One. It was on back order for a while. When I initially went to, to purchase it, they said it wouldn't be here to November, until November. The first time you look in the mirror when you wear a wig that's got permatease or it's poofy, you're really taken aback because you're not used to seeing all that hair. This is a low-density wig, and for that reason, it's it's... You're not going to feel overwhelmed by the hair, but you might not be used to the height that you're, that you're seeing because when your hair is thinning, your hair is flat. And if you try to do anything to it, you're seeing through to your scalp. But Okay, so you get the idea there. Let's go on to Sensational by Tony Bratton. 
Oh, it's adorable. I haven't done anything with it yet. It is adorable. Now, I'm not one for curls, but I know that Taz loves curls, and many of you out there love curls as well. And as she said, this is part of her affordable series. Let's play a few more seconds. I think it's adorable. Cute little short wedge back. Well, the thing is, Taz, you are adorable. So the wig is adorable when it's on your head. Big ringlet type curls there. Yeah. Kind of smooth there at the crown, but assessing the fit. So this seems completely average to me in terms of fit. Now we are all different. <clears throat> I could be completely average in circumference, but be a little larger in front to back and ear to ear and need a large, okay? You know yourself better than anyone. Uh, but based on my measurements being more petite average in all three, uh, this fits me a little bit big. So I Okay, so Taz is... Uh PT to average, I am average to large. So what she says is true. You really want to take those measurements very, very carefully. It makes a big difference on the comfort of your wig. Let's see about the spin that she's going to do for us, I'm sure. Here we go. Curl, so I can't keep my eyes off of it. I just want to break it up a little want to use the heat from my hand to sculpt so I like a little bit of a slimmer profile around the ear <clears throat> and then I like the curl and it's full glory and the I think that the slimmer profile around the ear helps the wig to look more natural by the way back it's got a cute little profile How it does cute. it does it really does it's cute Taz if I had to describe it in a word, it'd be cute because cute. it's short and it's curly. It's youthful. So I went over to Wig Studio One and the Sensational Wig by Tony Bratton is available in the light gray. When you're at Wig Studio One, if you click on this down arrow, look at my cursor right over here wiggling to the right. And you click on that down arrow and you're going to see all the available colors. And of course, Taz is showing it in the blonde. So, but it is available in light gray. I think that's the only gray color. Yes. And the light gray, if you wanted to see what that looks like, I have a lot of light grays in, in my videos. And here is a video that I did with a Tony Bratton twin clip. It's a hair piece. And I'll just click this for you now so you can see the color. But I do like to keep my hair up, especially when I'm working. My husband loves it up. Now, what I can't see is if there's a hole there, but in my own bathroom, of course, I would go in and take my comb and make sure it's perfect. So there you can see the light gray. And Tony Bratton's light gray has an awful lot of um, white in it. It's got a good combination of white and silver. So if you're totally white, like I am, or kind of a blended gray, a light salt and pepper, not a dark salt and pepper, but a light salt and pepper, the light gray in, in, the, in um, the Tony Bratton line is going to be perfect for you. And now here we have the wonderful Patty from <laughs> Patty's Pearls, and she is showing Susie by Envy. Her color. Her color is called light gray. Now for numbers, I'm going to call that uh, a 59 and a 60, a combination of colors, but it's really light. And when you, when you overall look at it, it looks like a 60. But then when you start looking into the wig, you'll see some 59 and maybe a little, even a little darker thrown in to give it depth. But isn't it fun? <laughs> okay, so 59 and 60 are, here's 59 and here's 60. 59 and 60. So you see how she's talking about 60 is the white, right? 
59 is more, if I get it really close here, 59 is more, I've got these lights bouncing off all the, is more of a, it's, it's a light gray. What you would think of as a light gray. So those two colors combined, you see? That's where the depth is coming from. But again, if you watch any of my videos um, where I am reviewing Eve in light gray, on the monitor, it, they really do look white. And But in person, like Patty is saying, there is some depth to them due to that kiss of the light gray. Okay, next up we have... Take a look at this one from all sides. Tarani by Beltress in the color Chrome by Denise Sheets. Let's give a listen. Pretty, really pretty color. Chrome, looks like a lot of white, looks like a lot of gray, some dark at the uh, root. One great thing about a heat-friendly style like this is if you don't like these flippies, you can take heat to it and tame them a little bit. And that's very, very true. Um, if you don't like the little flippies, and as long as it's heat-friendly, you've got to make sure your device that you're using is... I wouldn't use metal. I would use plastic and make sure the wig is heat-friendly or you're just going to ruin your wig. So the color that uh, Denise is showing, as I, as I mentioned, is chrome. But Tarani also comes in Roca Margarita Blonde right here and Coconut Silver Blonde. Coconut Silver Blonde has a little bit more platinum-y yellow in her. I've reviewed that color before. And here is the chrome. So I did a review the color Roca Mar Margarita Blonde in this video here and as you can see this is Beltress's Amaretto versus Shakerado so if you go to this video you'll be able to see both of those colors reviewed in the Beltress line so if chrome isn't something that you want then maybe you would like Roca Margarita Blonde it is a fabulous Fabulous color for grays. Love that wig. I think that's probably my favorite wig. Next up is Feathered Bob by Tressalure. Marlene is reviewing that. This is a beautiful, beautiful color if you've got those brown undertones. 52, 38, 49, 8. And they refer to it as a three-toned gray rooted brown. I looked all over for the exact colors and basically what we have is just what how they describe it three toned gray so we have a light gray a medium gray and a dark gray and that's all on a very soft cool it, it, it appears to me as being a cool brown root and it just blends through Beautiful. really pretty down at the bottom in, at the ends and at the nape, it's that same color brown. And Tressalure's Feathered Bob is available in a color other gray color combinations, uh, 385160, 445660. So there are a few, and um, just 1001, which is really just like a white. So there are other colors available. If, if you're more of the silver, more of the white, this is a lovely, lovely, just like it says, a feathered bob. And last but not least is, uh, I found this one today. I wasn't really looking for it, but I wanted to show it to you. Sam by Envy. Let me show you the color. This is dark gray. So if, you, if you're kind of transitioning and you, want, you still want a lot of gray, a darker gray, this is your wig if you like this style. So you can see that this is from the Alan Eaton collection. He's wonderful, wonderful designer. 
I will make some comments as the uh, as we see the the head spin. Look at that style. I think this is a very believable style on uh, women 50 years of age, let's say, end up, or really anyone. But if you're uh, someone over 50, I think that, at least for myself, I'm becoming more comfortable in things that hit me at the collarbone or maybe just above the shoulders. I'm getting ready to have my hair cut. Finally, I'm going to go back to the salon. But look at that sweep. The side swept bang and how it curves under on the sides, but then has a little bit of a flip up in the back. Let's go on. Love this wig. A little flip in the back. Now look at the lace front top with a full mono top, everyone. Full mono top so you can part it anywhere you want up there anywhere you want in that beautiful beautiful lace front that envy does so well open wefted right there for coolness she's got the uh covered ear tabs i'm sure with a stay can a Kalan fiber holds its shade, shape, and shine, and it does. Beautiful side swept bang. Just beautifully done. Available in 25 colors. We're going to look at the colors in a moment. Sam comes in a, let's see, the grays. She comes in a dark gray, the one we just saw. She comes in a light gray and a medium gray. And I've talked about light gray and medium gray ad nauseum on my channel. If you look at any of my Envy wigs, you're going to see them either in a light gray or um, a medium gray. Price point on her is about $300. You look around on the web so you can see if you can find a sale. At this point in my video, uh, as I mentioned last week, I want to take a couple of moments and answer either a couple of comments or a couple of questions that I have received. And Janice Huey wrote this wonderful comment um, that you can read here, but I'll read part of it uh, for you. Um, and she was talking about being in the hospital with her mother and, and her dad, both of whom passed at different times, thank goodness. Um, but she... Well, let me just read it. My family was spared from having to be hospitalized in 2020. I'm so grateful for that because I know from past experience just how valuable a patient advocate caregiver is who can be with the patient 24-7. The state of my bio hair and little to no privacy would have added stress. So having a great head of hair, meaning a wig, no matter what was incredibly freeing, I'd recommend a wig for caregivers, whether you think you need one or not. And you know, uh, if you follow me, you know that um, my mother passed last April. And this is pretty much how I looked when I was in the hospital. And, and um, well, we were there for, my goodness, was six or seven days just waiting. And I absolutely concur with what Janice has said. Even if you don't wear wigs, buy a topper, buy some kind of a beautiful wig that you can put on your head so that you're presentable, especially when all, so many people are coming in. And not that, it isn't that we want to be vain. What it is, is just the state that you're in. And I don't know, it's, it's always, it always makes me feel better if I can just put fix myself up a little bit not out of vanity but really really more of a public service so and and it takes some stress off of you at least you know no matter who walks in put a little lip gloss on maybe a tiny little bit of powder on your face and, and you're gonna you're gonna be able to face your day um a lot better so i love that i love that comment janice thank you for posting it and i wonder what your experience has been when you um when you've gone down this road where all of a sudden life turns upside down and and uh, have your wigs helped you in those moments or what do you think? I, I would just love to hear those comments below. 
Okay, and then another comment from um, Joni Art Springer. Hi, Joni. Thank you so much for commenting to me. These comments are not public. These are coming from my, adminis my admin panel in the back of YouTube. Love your Roca Margarita wig. That has become my favorite grayish, grayish color. Me too. I am still baffled with Ellen Villa colors. Which ones are really in the gray family? Could you review those? Another unfortunate thing is that Ellen Villa does not offer many of the styles I love most in gray. I refer to Roca Margarita as a soft gray as it is not so icy cool as it is not so icy cool <coughs> as many grays. What are some other soft grays do you think? Okay. First of all, love the fact that you love Roca Margarita Blonde. Now I do not own any Ellen Villa wigs. Not one. Um there are a few brands that I that I have not uh explored yet. Um but I will do some homework on which ones are really in the gray family. Again, let me explain to you that I don't sell wigs. So when I review a wig, it's it's either sent to me in collaboration by a, by a company that sells wigs, such as Wig Studio One or, or someone else. And so that means that I have to purchase them. And so <laughs> how can I say this delicately? I'm not Rockefeller, so... What I have to do is maybe either sell a few wigs that I have or make a little bit of money from my affiliate links. So if you have really deep pockets and you want to help out this channel, so right underneath the video, on any video that I post, let me show you what I mean. You're going to see a thanks button with a little dollar sign. If you click on that thanks button, you can lend support for my channel in any amount. When I have enough of those, then I will buy another wig. Now, that doesn't mean I won't buy a wig any any other time, but it's just a way to help me and to support the channel. And I, and I have never, ever said that before. And actually, my channel wasn't even eligible for it until very recently. So that's how that works. So I really do endeavor to buy as many wigs as I can, as I said, um, on my own. But if you've got a few extra dollars and you want to support the channel, that would mean a lot to me. But having said that, I will do some research on the those Ellen Villa wigs and see if I can answer those questions even though I don't have the wig in my hand. And so, Joni, thanks again for your comment. And since I was talking about selling my wigs, that reminds me to remind you that over at Someone with Gray Hair, you can see the URL right here. Uh, this is where I house any wigs that I will be selling in the upcoming days, weeks, or months. Very easy to use it. Instructions are very, very clear. I ship everything by priority two-day mail. If I have a box, I send it in a box. If it didn't come with a box, then I don't send it with the original box. But everything goes out in a sturdy box to you. Great way to get uh, gently used wigs. Most of these wigs that are for sale, I have never worn. They've only been used for review. So just a quick note for you in case you're wondering. The wig right there that you see uh, behind me is by Gabor. And it is in the color Sugared Silver. It is a new release, and I will be reviewing that wig uh, in the next week or two um, for Wig Studio One. When that, when that release happens, uh, I will send out a link to all of my subscribers so that you can go over and see that wig. It's a beautiful little bob in a really sweet color, Sugared Silver. And again, as a reminder, I will be uploading this video uh, beginning at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time this coming Saturday, October 8th. And I will be online between 3 o'clock and 4.30 to answer any of your questions or comments. I will be live. So anyone that has a burning question or a comment, I'll be happy to spend some time with you this coming Saturday. My question for you this week is, I'm looking for silver lining stories. 
Do you have any silver lining stories that you think would benefit the viewers? Uh, I would say less than a thousand words. You can email me, one with gray hair at gmail.com. Um, just anything, anything in your life that, that when you look back, you see that what you thought was a negative turned out to be a positive. Would love to hear stories like that. I'm always looking for them. And here is this week's Silver Lining Story. I hope you enjoy it. So I was a, a 39 year old, happy, healthy, vegan eating, marathon running young mother when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had absolutely no family history of the disease. And I am a, also a nurse and a social worker. And so I found myself in this unique position of moving from the side of the bed as a healthcare professional into the bed as a patient. And it was really unique because I've been trained to heal. But when I became a patient, that healing became very, very personal. So shortly after my diagnosis, I looked for a book that could serve as a lifeline, guide, source of information and hope that was realistic and honest, but also incredibly supportive. And I couldn't find that book, and so I wrote it. And it is called The Silver Lining, A Supportive and Insightful Guide to Breast Cancer. I wrote it with my very dear friend and photographer, Elizabeth Messina. Well, and why do you think it's so important to have, what is it that you need to have in this companion guide? What was it that you were searching for that you needed that you were able to put down in writing for others so it's helpful when they're dealing with it? I think one of the things that I did was I was, I'm able to declutter so much of the medical information that's out there and bring it into a place where it's accessible, relatable, it's realistic and honest. It doesn't put a fancy spin on things, but it's also hopeful and supportive. And it, it serves as truly a girlfriend, a companion going through the process. And when I was writing the original book, something that was kind of gnawing at me was this need to get this information into the hands of not only those who could afford a book, but everyone who's impacted by the disease. And so I was able to joyfully partner with Allstate Insurance, which doesn't even do health insurance, by the way. They are so committed to the empowerment and health and well-being of women that they just saw this um, opportunity to fill a need to meet people in the most difficult of circumstances when people are going through the breast cancer experience. And so I created a condensed version of the original book that contains all of the really practical tips and lifelines to help people get through it. And so Allstate is generously giving the book away to every single person who's diagnosed with breast cancer this year in both English as well as in Spanish. But um, every day I get stronger and healthier, which is the ultimate silver lining. Yeah, well, as we close here, what is your silver lining that people should know? I know you're talking to not only people battling breast cancer, but those loved ones who are also affected by it as well uh, as the caretakers. Absolutely. So what's the take home so as we close? The ultimate take home is that silver linings are available to anybody who wants to look for them. They provide the balance, hope, and perspective to get through even the most difficult of circumstances. They don't take away things like nausea and vomiting, but they do help get sometimes just from moment to moment. I'm just gonna end today with a little teaser video for you. What's on my head now is a topper, top billing, 12 inches by Raquel Welch, one of my favorite toppers, a much loved topper across the internet and with wig reviewers and, and wig wearers. So in this video today, you saw that I had my natural hair. Now I know my hair did not look good, but that was by design because in a few days, I'm going to be going to the salon and I'm going to have my hair cut professionally and layered and all of that. So I wanted to show my natural hair. Yes, my hair is all white. I don't add anything to it. It's just the hair that God gave me. And I wanted to show the before the haircut and after the haircut. So you'll see those next week. And I will also include um, 
a picture of my favorite wig and my favorite topper, which more than likely will be this one that I have on. So four different pictures in frame so that you can see uh, the difference. I do like to talk about the care of our natural gray hair on our channel. So next week's video will address the care of our natural gray hair and my new hairdo. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. I hope that you stay safe and well. And thanks again so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.